Welcome, welcome, welcome to game one. This is the challenge edition. In the challenge edition, unlike the original edition, we don't give you as many choices to select from. A couple of our questions do have choices for you, but most of the questions are open-ended. Uh, this is for the uh, thoroughbreds. A couple of questions we call round zero. The idea is just to make sure that you're seeing things well and all set up. But feel free to answer them. Okay, we begin for real now. Question one. To Kill a Mockingbird was written by And no, the answer is an Atticus Finch. To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay, moving ahead. How many witches were there in the book by L. Frank Baum, The Wizard of Oz? How many witches were there in the book? Okay, discuss it among yourselves. But moving on to number two. Excuse me, on to number three. Which current company was originally named the Computing Tabulating Recording Company? CTR. Okay, moving ahead. Here's one for you. Gave you choices this time. King Midas was king of... We'll cut this one short. What brand was known for getting rid of that ring around the collar? Which Cassidy's given name was? And where did buffalo wings originate? Okay, moving on to our answers. Hope you did well. To Kill a Mockingbird was written by Harper Lee. How many witches were there in the book? There were four. Current company that was originally CTR IBM. King Midas was king of Phrygia. And 
Did you remember that that was whisk that got that ring around the collar taken care of? Which Cassidy was Robert Leroy Parker? And Buffalo Wings from Buffalo, New York. In fact, the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. Let's start with round two, but I'll pause for a second as you tally your scores. Question one, Olivia Benson on Law & Order SVU is played by Mariska Haggerty. Her mother was... Okay, settle your arguments here. Let's move on to two. The element which begins with the letter K. Which of the following actors never portrayed Zorro in film? Okay, moving forward. What is the name of the off-speed pitch that not only sinks, but moves from the pitcher's left side to the right as it approaches the batter? To infinity and beyond is the tagline for I'm guessing this is an easy one. When Cain, after killing Abel, was banished, he subsequently settled in... I got into trouble asking this one. My friends seem to think it was a little bit too difficult. But this is for the biblical scholars out there. Okay, moving on. This is an editorial cartoon portraying Moving on to the answers. 
Olivia Benson of Law & Order SVU is, Mary, is played by Mariska Haggerty. Her mother was Jane Mansfield. Which element begins with the letter K? Krypton. Which of the following actors never portrayed Zorro in the films? Well, Douglas Fairbanks was certainly the earliest. I don't believe anybody preceded him. Tyrone Power, probably the classic Zorro movie. The Mark of Zorro, you can see the poster to the right. Um, Anthony Hopkins, in a more recent edition, co-starring to Antonio Banderas. If you remember the movie, Anthony Hopkins was the original Zorro, and in later years took on and trained Antonio Banderas. Reed Hadley, he may have been the difficult one for you to recognize. He played Zorro in the serials or chapter plays, and then Errol Flynn. Despite his playing Captain Blood, Robin Hood, and all sorts of adventurous characters, did not play Zorro. The name of the off-speed pitch that not only sinks but moves from the pitcher's left side to the right as it approaches the batter is a screwball. And, of course, to infinity and beyond, Buzz Lightyear. Certainly, certainly with children in the family, grandchildren, probably one of the easiest questions. When Cain, after killing Abel, was banished, he subsequently settled in the land of Nod. And this is an editorial cartoon portraying Boss Tweed and his compatriots. Uh, they're pictured in the uh, image. I, I put this in for one of our political scholars, and uh, curiously enough, that occasion he didn't show up. But we actually had someone else pop up who knew this well and, in fact, could name two of the three additional characters behind Boss Tweed in the image. The picture, the cartoon, was illustrated by Thomas Nast, who did many of these attacking Tammany Hall. Round three, but let me pause to give you a chance to tally your score for round two. Okay, moving forward. In Disney's Davy Crockett, Davy's pal Georgie Russell was played by Question 2. What was Ephraim Zimbalist Sr.'s profession? Actually, what we'll find is there are a number of different answers that would fit as appropriate. Which movie won Oscars in the 1939 Academy Awards for the following categories? Art direction, film editing, and original musical score.
If you're playing with friends, if you've got a team, I'm guessing there's debating going on right now. So I'll give you a moment or two to wrap it up. Okay, mark down your answer. Question four. Who was banned from baseball in 1920 after a highly successful 1919 World Series play, including a World Series record with 12 base hits? Who was banned from baseball in 1920? Who was given a special Academy Award for Male Juvenile Actor in 1939? Who hosted Queen for a Day on television? And I gave you choices on this one. Okay, number seven. In Around the World in 80 Days, Phileas Fogg and his newly employed valet attempt to circumnavigate the world in 80 days for a 20,000 pound wager. The valet's name is... Maybe you read the book. Maybe you saw the movie. Um, certainly... Uh, the movie was a major success. Actually, I should go back and check the box record for that. Okay, moving forward. Our answers for round three. In Disney's Davy Crockett, Georgie Russell was played by Buddy Epson. Here he is in his Beverly Hillbillies image. What was Ephraim Zimbalist Sr.'s profession? I would think any answer, music, um, in any of these categories here, probably ought to be considered, or musical performer, uh, probably ought to be considered a correct answer. Which movie won Oscars in the 1939 Academy Awards for art direction, film editing, and original musical score? 1939 was a big year, and each of these choices was a 1939 movie. I bet this was a difficult one. Who was banned from baseball in 1920? That's probably an easy one for anyone familiar with sports. Shoeless Joe Jackson. And Joe wasn't the only one. Here's an image that uh, shows the others involved in the scandal. Who was given a special Academy Award for male juvenile actor in 1939? Mr. Andy Hardy, or as we know him, Mickey Rooney. Who hosted Queen for a Day? Jack Bailey. Uh, 
Okay, number seven. In Around the World in 80 Days, Phileas Fogg and his newly employed valet attempt to circumnavigate the world. The valet's name is Jean Paspatou. And with that, give you a second to tally your results before we move on to the before we move on to the bonus question. Bonus question, first names of Abbott and Costello. Okay, are we ready? What's the answer? Bud and Lou, and here we have a picture of their autographs. In fact, this is a, a surprising lucky and lucky discovery of mine. I came across this uh, set of autographs a um, number of years ago. Actually, that, not that many years ago. But uh, Bud and Lou. You can find us on YouTube and Facebook as Old Timers Trivia. Your contributions help keep Old Timers Trivia alive. Please go to DonorBox and support Old Timers. Thank you. Plus, you can visit our Old Timers store on eBay. We put up new items regularly, and you can subscribe to our newsletter on eBay. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget we have the following editions, the original edition for team play, the challenge edition for tougher team play, and the quick edition. The quick edition does not have the delays for group discussion, delays for the tallying of points. Um, it's for someone who wants to play more quickly, maybe playing on their own, and um, so you have your options. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in the next game.